We had a lead zinc mine here for about 100 years that was mined out in 2001. And uh, we're now transitioning to a tourist driven economy and uh, we're hoping that the Sun Mine is going to uh, help change some perceptions of the old mining town into the new Kimberley. Welcome to Green Energy Futures, your guide to the green energy revolution that's already underway. Hi, David Dodge here for Green Energy Futures. Today we head to the biggest solar project in British Columbia. It's in the mountain mining town of Kimberley, BC. It just came online this summer and it's an amazing sight to see. 4,000 solar modules set against the beautiful Rocky Mountains. Hi, my name is Don McCormick and I'm the mayor of Kimberley, BC. We're standing here on the site of Kimberley's newest uh, solar field. Uh, which we have aptly called the Sun Mine in respect of the heritage that we've had as a mining community for the last hundred years. Kimberley was home to the Tex Sullivan Mine, one of the largest lead zinc mines in Canada. It closed in 2001, taking 600 jobs with it. The town has been reinventing itself ever since. So for example, we have an alpine ski hill that's got about 85 runs uh, right within the city limits. We have uh, three championship golf courses, again, within our city limits. And in fact, uh, we like to say that we have uh, more golf courses than we do traffic lights in town. And this is pretty good for people wanting to visit the community. But that mining heritage meant the city was surrounded by what's called brownfield. You can see the old mining tailings ponds in this shot. The land has been remediated, but it's still considered contaminated and can't be used for anything without further radical and expensive reclamation. That's when the idea of building a solar PV farm came up. Well, I think the, uh, I think the coolest thing is the opportunity for us to present Kimberley uh, in a completely different light to the world. As we talked about earlier, it's a, it's a, it's a rebranding of the community and it's an opportunity to, uh, uh, to do something cool and innovative, simply beyond tourism. We got to see the project up close, standing within view of the Rocky and Purcell Mountains, surrounded by thousands of solar modules is quite something to see. Hi, my name is Kevin Wilson. I'm the Economic Development Officer with the City of Kimberley. Uh, we're, located, or we're standing here at Sun Mine, Kimberley's solar project, located on the former site of Tex Sullivan Mine in Kimberley, British Columbia. We're looking at uh, our solar array, which is located on five hectares of land, uh, generating 1.05 megawatts of energy, peak capacity. There's over 4,000 photovoltaic panels mounted on 96 tracking masts that follow the angle of the sun in two different dimensions. The sensors are located along the sides of the panels. Uh, there's one along this side and one along the top that optimize the orientation to the sun. A unique addition to the project were the solar trackers. They got an additional $1 million from the province of British Columbia for this innovative technology. The trackers mean they produce about 40% more power than a standard fixed system, according to Wilson. Our system allows us to, to round out or to create corners in that production curve early in the day so it reaches peak production by nine o'clock in the morning and uh, continues peak production through to about seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night. And uh, that happens to be also the time of the day where BC Hydro pays uh, a premium. So they have a peak rate uh, during periods of higher demand early in the day, late in the day. Kimberley repurposed nearly unusable land to build the largest solar project in British Columbia and they did it with the support of the community. In a referendum a few years ago, almost 76% voted to support borrowing $2 million to build this $5.4 million project. Depending on how it goes, Kimberley could build many more solar projects in the future. Undoubtedly, uh, whether that means filling this field with solar panels or filling the community's rooftops with solar panels. Uh, the combination of altitude, snow in the winter, and the reflective capabilities of snow um, make uh, Kimberley a really good environment for solar. And this is the sunniest region of BC. Kimberley's not necessarily the only one with sun in this region, but uh, as I say, the altitude, 
uh, and the snow kind of take it to the next level. Wilson says there's room for 200 megawatts of solar on the former mine site. If you're counting, that's 800,000 solar modules. For more information on SunMine, head to greenenergyfutures.ca. We've got a photo gallery, podcast, and a blog. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. Stick around to the end of the credits for a link to one of our favorites. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. We've got another episode you should definitely check out. It's on the Octopod, an amazing, innovative, funky, off-grid home that's made out of shipping containers. Click on the video link and don't forget to subscribe. We put out a new video every few